with the world increasing consumption of energy demand, clean and renewable energy sources are getting more popular. And harvesting waste mechanical vibration energy has been a hot topic recently. Vibration energy is found in everything, living or inanimate. And vibration energy can be found such as an impact on an object, any machinery, moving vehicles, ocean waves, and much more. Harvesting vibration energy and converting it into electrical energy is possible with the help of piezoelectric material. This is because a piezoelectric material contains crystals that can change mechanical vibration energy into electrical energy when stress or strain is applied on it. Thus, harvesting vibration energy is possible and it is a good alternative of clean and renewable energy source which can save power and lead to economic sustainability. In this innovation project, waste vibration energy was harvested using piezoelectric transducer placed under the speed bump during vehicle passing through. In this project, simulation method has been done in order to study the stress and deformation of speed bump at various speeds using ANSYS workbench. Then, a prototype is built using a total of 56 piezoelectric transducer sandwiched by two pieces of plywood with a rubber speed bump on top. With the increasing speed of vehicle going over the speed bump, the stress produced on the speed bump also increases, hence increase in output voltage. In my findings, the prototype managed to generate a peak voltage of 3.6 volts and maximum stress of 0.54 MPa when the car goes over the speed bump at 15 km per hour. Voltage generated by moving vehicles going over the prototype at very speed is also very stable and significant. Hence, the generated electricity is a clean renewable energy and alternative power generation. The best of all, this project uses green technology application which make it easy to develop and install while saving energy consumption costs. This product has a huge market potential because it can be installed at parking lots or entrance barrier at shopping malls or even at speed bump on the roads near schools, hospital and residential area. That's all for me. Thank you.